Have you ever watched and listened to a group of vocalising animals? Maybe then you started wondering what the chatter is all about and whether specific individuals are communicating with each other. But studying this has been rather difficult because in such settings it is almost impossible to define which animal produced which sound. To tackle this challenge, researchers profit from a new technique, so-called microphone backpacks. These backpacks are miniaturised microphones that are placed directly on the animals to record their individual vocalisations. I'm Lisa Gill. I'm Nico Adriani. I'm Pietro Amelio. And we are working at the Max Planck Institute for Ornithology. I study vocal communication in group living animals. I'm interested in, in neurothology and study auditory perception in freely behaving birds. I want to know the function of calls and how pairs talk to each other. We recently published a paper together in Methods in Ecology and Evolution. Today we would like to show in more detail how to apply the radio transmitter microphone backpacks and what makes them so useful for studying vocal communication, especially in small animals. This is the backpack. It consists of a radio transmitter, a battery and a leg loop harness. Let's start with a short tutorial on how to apply the backpack. This usually takes about one minute. This is how we replace the battery. This only takes a few seconds. But even the lightest backpack and very short handling time may impact the behaviour of the animals, which in turn may influence the outcome of a study. To avoid biased recordings and results, it is necessary to find out in what way and for how long animals are affected. So we carried out a habituation experiment. We held domesticated zebra finch males under standardised conditions and quantified aspects of their vocal behaviour and movement. Then we compared these behaviours at baseline levels with those after the initial backpack application and after the very short handling for battery replacement. You can see that behaviours were significantly affected but quickly returned to normal levels. In a previous publication, using a different technical approach, the authors found a six-day habituation period in their birds. They did not test the effect of battery replacement which took place every day. The recording duration was limited to a few hours. In our study, we found that birds habituated to our much lighter backpacks within three days only. But even the short handling necessary for replacing the battery affected the birds for one day which is important to consider in study design. But all of those effects were outlasted by our system's long-term continuous recordings, which lasted up to 15 days. Therefore, the radio transmitter backpacks allow unbiased individual recordings of undisturbed and freely behaving small animals. In our setup, an antenna is connected to a receiver to pick up the signal from the backpack. Each backpack has its own specific frequency. The receivers are all connected to the same recording device. So if you run multi-channel recording software, the tracks are recorded separately, but are automatically synchronized. In this way, we can identify the individual and the timing of each and every call. This helps us defining vocal interactions and building vocal networks. So in sum, the microphone transmitter backpacks allow us to record individuals and groups with perfect temporal alignment between the audio tracks.
The devices are extremely lightweight, which means that the birds only need a short time to get used to wearing them. Most importantly, their long-term continuous recordings outlast by far the short habituation time, making them the perfect tool to study individual vocalizations of undisturbed small animals in complex environments. These backpacks allow investigating our three aspects of vocal communication, but they can also be applied to study many other questions and species. We believe that an important part of the future of such devices is outside in the field, to study animal communication in nature. For example, a team of our colleagues is currently testing the backpacks on white-browed sparrow weavers in South Africa. So stay tuned!